Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and we're carrying on with From the Depths. And um, we're going to resume where we finished the previous video. And if I go to the menu map, you'll see that um, I'm basically carrying over. Our ray fleet is heading back after taking out the force that was heading for one of our recon balloons. And now our Aquanaut fleet is trying to intercept this level um, 39. Uh, what I'm going to try and do here is uh, the, 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 the um, Leviathan has had some um, new long-range missiles added to it, which we'll look into once we're um, uh, ready to, to get into battle. Oops, do you want to do that? Come on, get back into that. Let's see, teleport to there. Okay, back onto the map. We will just quickly speed up if we can. I want to get up. Oh, we're ready for battle now. So I'm going to just make sure my forces are in, heading in the, aiming at the uh, opponents. Okay, that's good. So, um, we don't have any, the main change is done, it has been to the uh, Leviathan, which is ready to uh, rumble. Uh, the other ships are all fairly much um, the same as they were before. Let's get that sub repair into its right position. So it should be back here behind the Leviathan, not right in front. That would be a silly place for it. Let's just make sure everything is in the right place. Lions, walruses at the behind, seals in front. Blue urchins. Okay. I think I'm going to go for overwhelming force on this particular one. Just bring in the whole fleet and go for a mass hit on the, um, their ships. So here we go. That will uh, cause it to lag whilst it's bringing everything in. Yep. There we go. Right. Um, I also had a look at a few of the missiles. I changed some of their uh, priorities um, on the Leviathan. So if we have a look down here, I'm not controlling anything. Uh, I got rid of the big torpedoes at the rear and changed them for big missiles. Uh, they're very long range, high damage uh, missiles now. So we got a few of them on the rear. The torpedoes were good, but they were not as effective as, as I would like. So now we have a nice big missile barrage coming in here. Let's face off. Yes. That looks nice. That looks like a significant number of uh, missiles coming in. And ah, now both it looks like the other forces have come in at the same time. So I'm really hoping now that uh, we can get rid of these as quick as possible. So if I go to, I think it's here. They've got 23 force points, and we have 15. So we're actually outnumbered here. Hmm. We have managed to bring all of our in. They have, we have, they have seven forces. We have nine. So unfortunately, this is going to be a bit of a slogging match. Uh, more forces came in than expected. We'll see what their main forces look like over here first. Um, looks like uh, a halberd. Don't like the halberd because it's got anti-missile defences. It looks like a telemachus and whatever this small ship is because I can't remember what it is. Uh, the Howbird is not firing yet which is good because I don't want it to shoot me. It shouldn't be shooting. Right. What is this? What is this? I can't remember. It's, this I'm guessing is not going to last. A sloop. It's a sloop. It's just a little sloop. It's nice of it. The Howbird is going to be the main main threat it is now firing yes hopefully missiles coming in our missiles are still traveling 
we'll see which one they go for. Now, unfortunately, it looks like his lambs are hitting some of our missiles. You bugger, you're not allowed to do that. My missiles are supposed to hit you. Now, I'm hoping there's enough. It's not going to matter. He can't get all of them, surely. There's, there's a lot coming of missiles coming in here. back out a little bit oh some of them are a little bit short there's uh, some few missiles i obviously got the range a little wrong on that's a pity that's a one barrage that shouldn't have fired not by much but it was it was obviously wrong the other ones are coming in quite nicely it might actually have been the walrus, not actually the leviathan. It's, it's, they're very early on, so I'm guessing it's most probably the walrus. Uh, sorry, it is the leviathan. Oops, I need a quick sup of caffeine. Can't play this and watch this without a bit of caffeine. Oh, so they're getting... Some of them are getting... They're going for that sloop. Um, although they are being taken out, their frags are reaching the sloop, which is doing it some damage, because it's, it's mainly um, wood. Now these other missiles coming in from the side, they came around slightly, they're obviously laser guided, coming nicely around the, around the side. They are starting to get taken out. Again, their frags are firing forwards, uh, but I'm hoping there is enough to take them all out. Will we get any hits on the Halberd? So his lambs have been effective so far. Enough um, damage. It might have helped if those earlier ones had actually reached their target and not fired quite so long. So there were some, looks like some with proximity fuses. I'll have to see if I can find out which ones they are. We have another load coming in, so we need to ensure if we're going to use the to, to overwhelm a lamb system, you've got to just fire a, a, a big chunk of missiles, not too spread out. Mm. So what I would need is something that fires, uh, I wouldn't say one chunk, but fairly much, sixteen. 30 missiles all in one big very quick um, attack all coming in f at the same time or roughly the same time that would be an interesting little um, vehicle or ad adaptation um, if they're all coming in at the same vector uh, almost behind each other uh, the lambs wouldn't be effective at trying to target uh, more than one at a time um, lambs only work by attacking the nearest missile so here we've got a problem where where they're coming in for, our missiles are coming in slightly different angles which is allowing them to uh, be targeted by more than one lamb but hey that's what that's so at the moment, none of our missiles have managed to get through. His lamb system is more effective than our missiles, this halberd. Mm. But torpedoes are coming in. Um, have we got some torpedoes? Yes, here we have. We've got torpedo coming in there. They're, those um, ones here are from the earlier missiles that didn't have the necessary range. We have got some more coming in now, though. Where are they going for? The sloop. 
these ones are going to get in if they can get rid of this sloop then hopefully they can start concentrating on the halberd so these again are slightly short but this time they will impact so our first shots were a little short something with a 90 degree uh, missile system Ooh, here's a long range torpedo uh, oh it didn't get through some more long range torpedoes coming through but if they don't come through quick enough will it finally get through oh I think we have some impacts coming in here now I'm not sure it could be torpedoes. There's torpedoes in the water as well, by the looks of it. So we do have some impacts coming through. Excellent. And we've got direct hits. Yes, we're getting some direct hits. And that's taken out a good chunk of that central part of his structure which is excellent so we're now getting enough missiles coming through um, that it's doing damage um, everything's in range everyone's firing so excellent right, it's still gonna be another slogging match I think we're now down to uh, we have got the advantage on these three by looks of it, possibly some of... Let's go and have a look at the map, see if we've got the other group also um, attacking us at the same time. Yes, I think both groups are now attacking us, which is not uh, ideal. I'm going to go and have a look. This, this group now, I think, is uh, this halberd. If this halberd can be finished off... Um, it would be good. They uh, what range are they running at at the moment? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? The Viathan has taken some damage, 700 meters. The sloop is uh, gone. I think that's disintegrating, um, or oh, it's effectively dead. So now they should be, we've got Telemachus and the Halberd. So if we can just take out, the Halberd is no longer firing its lambs, which is excellent. So we've obviously taken out enough damage. Oh, no, there is a lamb firing there. I'll take that back. I thought uh, we'd done enough damage to stop that, but he still is firing. Sloops is just enough in the way it's, it's obviously is destroyed but it's enough in the way just to stop it stop some of the missiles getting through I mean, uh, we can see around but this oh, no it's, his lambs are back up and running so we need another sheaf of missiles to come in we, we're getting there we are slowly destroying this just taking longer than I would like. Are our torpedoes getting through? Right, it looks like uh, this Telemachus over here is getting uh, torpedoed. Uh, I can see some explosions happening here. Uh, we can see torpedoes in the water and over here is the underneath of the halberd in one piece let's have a look he's uh, fairly much in one piece so far looks like there has been some damage you can see this where the laser designators are aiming at on this uh, particular vessel going for potentially his engines um, that's why some of the missiles are landing a little low in the water these ones here they are potentially the laser guided missiles these ones um, aiming for where that uh, lasers uh, targeting lasers are but they're not enough to get through we need more missiles 
at the moment looks like um, coming in with eight this, this second sheaf here is eight so we had a, an eight and a, and a second eight now with eight on its own we are only mm, oh some nice torpedoes just went into the into the front of this hopefully that will uh, cause some damage so that first round of eight came through and the second lot have all gone into the water or oh, no this is the second level of is that eight one two three four Well, it looks like about 16 coming in here, um, which is good. We've got some more missiles there being fired, have just been launched uh, without any... Because uh, we've got possibly in range of our short, uh, uh, our second set of missiles, or third set of missiles, short range, just lots of, lots of them. I think that's what we need. It's it's got to be missile spam to get past these lambs. Unfortunately, I would like it to be a little bit nicer. Now these are going, are well, dropping down a little early. So I we need to increase the range of these missiles, or stop them firing if they're not going to be of any use. Now they are still of being of use in that they are providing a distraction. Um, but I prefer them to hit the target, to wait and then fire all at one time when they are in range. What's our range at the moment uh, to the Leviathan is 647. Yeah, 640. So we need to make their range nearer 600. Whichever ones they happen to be, we'll have to do a bit of testing to see which ones these particular missiles are. I think they are. Luckily, um, he's going to go straight into these missiles because they're going under the water and they're going to hit straight into his bow. The second set of missiles, they look very good. The alternative is on these missiles is make them a little higher range. These are a low angle to uh, missile, so it's the possibly the second set of missiles that have two fins. He's still taking out these um, this other set of missiles. Has I think some of these have effectively got through. They are now in the water in front of him, and he's effectively going straight into the missiles. Okay, I think we're gonna eventually be taking this one out. So I'm now gonna stop the recording and let it just play out until we've taken out this. A halberd and then we'll have to look at the other force see if it's going to put us into battle with the second force at the same time and um, we'll see how that goes so see you in a little while and welcome back um, as you can see the uh, now has basically taken out the halberd it got in range of the missiles of the even closer 450 meters and um, the lambs effectively have got most of them got taken out now and it's uh, effectively coring through the center of the ship so this way is now done also the telemachus which was down here somewhere is just now load of scrap and that's actually I think is disintegrating yes that's disintegrating um, we do have this second force and although this is firing I think it's now its day is numbered uh, our missiles are getting through and we're quite happily destroying all of the uh, enemy forces now uh, the other side is um, we do have this other force the Leviathan has taken some damage and is repairing itself so that's good now we do have the other force which the walruses are actually um, starting to fire upon or some of the walrus was actually firing on them from the very beginning so we'll just go over to the walrus which I believe is taking on these forces he's effectively doing it on his own and then we'll have a look to see what I have coming against me to see how much uh, 
how big a problem this is going to be. So we can see, uh, let, we'll leave the Leviathan to um, finish off its forces. Now we have got, let's see, let's go up here. I think if I start this off here and then go into there. There we go, that should get them there a little quicker. Now go up, whoops, let's go up. Come on. Okay, that didn't quite work as I wanted to. Let's just um, tell it tell it to go for this uh, ship. That didn't work as as I wanted. Let's just just making my way over there. I obviously picked the wrong ship. So we have this walrus is having a go at this other enemy fleet with his missiles. He's got a significant number of missiles and torpedoes. The Walrus is not a uh, without a significant uh, power. Uh, it's a little bit on his own is not the greatest of things. Let's see what uh, size of fleet and what they actually decided to bring against us. Again, sorry for the slowness of this, and uh, it's, I should have waited for full daylight once again. I wish there was a button to, to say, make this daylight. Oh, well, my fault, I should have gone a little bit during the day. So what did we have here? Um, what is this? What is this? Don't recognise it at the moment. Uh, oh, he's, he's done a fair bit of damage. It will work. Something like that. What is it? What does it say? Stockade. Okay. So it's been taken out this on its own, it's taken out one of the uh, forward guns on it, which is good. Now hopefully we can still see in the distance the Leviathan. What else have we got here? Is this another stockade? It looks like a second stockade over here. I'm not sure which ones the missiles are going for. The missiles are going for the second stockade possibly this stockade is too close um, so there's a second stockade here what else have we got now they were lucky they, they did start very close to being on the land which for their ships would have been somewhat of a problem and oh we've got a what's this behind it hmm. so we've got two stockades which look very Sort of typical shipish, and this one don't recognize this one. Uh, should do. Have we had this one before? I'm guessing we must have. Must have seen this one before. I just don't recognize it at the moment. It's got some weird bits on it, but what is it? What is it? What is it? Stalwart. Okay, no, I have. Uh, don't know if I've seen that in game, but okay. Stalwart. It looks like it's got some exceedingly large guns uh, but the walrus is taking a toll because these guys haven't got any uh, lambs they are surviving purely upon their armor ability so uh, uh, it should make it a little quicker the lambs basically negate my missiles you know, very well Saying that is unfortunate because I don't want them to negate my missiles. Now he's he could be going for the um, stalwart here because it's the largest uh, target. I think the war was targeting uh, is basically large, largest first. Now have we got missiles coming in this way? No, I think the the stalwart is firing at the Leviathan. By the looks of it, that's must be causing a fair bit of the damage against us. Um, we have the wars is putting its missiles in though, so these should start taking a bit of a toll on this. Um, potentially causing a bit of damage. Yes, there's a fair bit of damage being happening there. Yes, it's, it's starting to take the front of that ship out. All these missiles coming in. There's a 
fair wodge of missiles all coming in at one time. Um, I think I'll do the same with the uh, Leviathan with its laser guided, have them all come in at the same time, not this uh, two staged one. So it's more missiles in one fell swoop. 16 missiles all in one go would be nice. So, okay, that's. Um, you can see it hacking away at the front of this uh, ship. Hopefully, some of them will get through. There's a lot of metal there it's trying to blow up. It's, it is. Oh, it's changed its targeting. Obviously, targeting a different part of the ship now. They are still coming through. A few of them were a little short. So. Good, let's see how the, what the Leviathan is now doing. We will go back to it, see if it's still targeting over there, or if it's decided to come and take on this second force. There is, does look like there's some missiles are coming through now from the Leviathan. Possibly it's finally decided to turn around. Well, it's going to take a little while just to get there. De -de 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 -de. I've also decided those recon balloons are okay, but what I really would be interested in, I think I'm going to create some sort of fortress for the land that um, I build in, in the particular place I want it, and it's got some guns, missiles, and a bloody great big radar tower, and um, I'm going to do it that way. Oops. Okay, we have some missiles. So it looks like the Leviathan now is firing against these other ships now. By the looks of it, the Leviathan has, uh, I don't think it's turned around. If it has, that's, that's good. It looks like it is certainly shooting against something. Some missiles are, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what we can see for the Leviathan. It's still facing towards the, s the first force because it does take a long time to turn around. Let's see if there's anything left of what we have over here. That's the Howlbird. Still got some things left on it, but I'm guessing it's quite close. I can't see at the moment, but I'm guessing it's, it's close enough that it's, the long-range missiles are now, are now going, oh, okay, let's forget about him. Let's go for the, uh, the other forces because they prefer a longer range. So we need to make sure that our short range missiles are powerful enough to destroy anything that gets in close, um, when, like here. And that's, I think, is these frontal missiles. I think these ones at the very front here were the ultimate short-range missiles. Not really enough of them, I might have to we'll have, a, we'll have a check on that. Our repair sub is repairing the Leviathan as we go along, which is excellent. Okay, so, so the Halbird is just a matter of, um, we've got torpedoes going for it, we have short-range missiles going for it, and we have our long-range missiles now going for the second uh, force. Oh, looks like some of our missiles are not targeting anything. Maybe they didn't get their one turn in time. They seem to be uh, shooting at nothing. These ones are not turning in time either. That's not good. Oh, that, that might not be from the Leviathan. But we have the wall. The second wall looks like it's now concentrating on the uh, second set of ships and Leviathan, so it shouldn't take too long. So, okay, it's gonna be the same slogging match again. So I will, once again, bring it the video back once we have um, a conclusion to this battle or close to the conclusion. See you soon. Okay, and welcome to the ba back to the battle. It looks like we're down to this last stockade. Um, I just can't see any of the other ships now. So uh, although it's still showing nine out of 10 ships, I think they're 
mainly done. I think we've got one other stockade just in front of us there, uh, which is still farming a little bit. Uh, this one's just taken out, but I can't now longer find the other ship that was um, in this area, which was the stalwart, I think it was. Um, that seems to have been destroyed uh, from what all I can see. So they got the stalwart, which was that big one with lots of guns and lots of big uh, missiles, so that's good. So we're just down to then two items. There's this stockade here, let's go and zoom out. This stockade, ooh, with some, he's getting, been getting some nice big booms. And a second stalwart just over here. which doesn't seem to be firing uh, most of the time. Uh, this stalwart has had uh, basically the f most of his front taken apart. I don't know where these missiles are now heading, uh, why they decided not to attack the target that is right in front of them. They've obviously decided that there is a second target which is more important. Game, you're not you know, making sense at times. So looking at this here, it says that there is two items in play, well, according to that. Yeah, two strength 50, so that's the two stalwarts. Uh, the second force has disintegrated, so we've got two left in play. Um, yes, two of two, here we have it. And we've got all of ours, I think we're all A-OK. -okay. Yep, we're all A-OK -okay on our systems. Leviathan's continuing to take damage, but it's weathering the damage quite nicely, repairing it, uh, repairing the damage as it can. So that's done quite nicely. So we're just waiting for this, these last two stalwarts to get basically the shit kicked out of them. They're doing a good job, um, our various ships. Just there's torpedoes coming in. Down there, let's just see how they're doing up coming. Nice ma magnetic or sonar torpedoes, by the looks of it. Oh, you actually don't. There's a bit of lag there, but until and then they suddenly explode. So they should take out propellers and other bits, which is excellent. We've got lots of torpedoes coming in on the front of him, which is also excellent. So all in all, we seem to be doing um, almost taking them out. So let's. Uh, that's why I brought it back. I thought it would be a bit quicker. I thought there was just one um, stockade left, but there is two. Uh, the missiles and everything is coming in at s uh, significant rates. I'm not sure where the Leviathan is. It seems to have over here and uh, it, it, it is in, in range it is doing its thing I think let's just have a quick check Leviathan is yeah it's within 500 meters so it's going to be firing or hopefully is there's a lot of missiles in the water over here or very close to the, the surface I'm assuming they're ones that have got launched and it's, it's now trying to turn and turn in. Hopefully it hasn't done something silly like turned itself over. It's potentially just trying to turn around because it is a slow old bugger turn to turn. Um, what's happening here? Have we... Yeah, it's trying to turn around and it's got this problem. Now I did put a load of stabilizers in there but when it's doing a hard turn it still turns over a lot. So the missiles are when they're ejected are not going as high. They're not popping out of the water like they normally would. So the missiles are coming up and they're sticking in the water instead of getting out. Which is why it's not being effective. Mm. Okay, so a little bit more work on there needed when uh, doing hard turns. A lot of those missiles are now just wasted, which is of no good. The torpedoes are still going to be firing in quite nicely. 
but we need to sort out the uh, listing. Now, um, so um, I did. I filled up a lot of stabilizers, which is not what I wanted to do. So I'll have to look, have a look at um, where the where it is all compared to the centre of mass and try and repair some of that, try and get it a little bit more centralised so it, it pushes it, more yaws it rather than rolling. Initially I didn't mind if it, if it rolled a little. Um, originally I thought the main problem was when it taken damage and it is potentially possible that um, some of the damage to the ship has been to its uh, hydrofoils which are used for uh, up and down motion primarily but also have an effect on uh, left and right if one side of the uh, hydrofoils gets taken out. I may have to, I have armoured the um, hydrofoils a little bit more in that att attempt but if they get unbalanced it starts to roll the ship. Uh, we'll have to, again, maybe more stabilisers needed, work out where the rolling is happening um, maybe less hydrofoils, so the hydrofoils are less, have less of an effect. So that means the only problem with that was means its up and down motion will be less effective, but it, it would roll less as well. Wouldn't stop it totally; would just reduce it. Right, this store, this um, stockade here, looks like it's just about uh, dead. Look at that. there's a lot of taken out of the front of, the, of it here. Um, got more torpedoes it's continuing to take it out it's just we haven't taken out its AI enough or enough forces for it to totally disintegrate but it's, it's certainly getting there it is still firing back though so it's it's AI obviously is working the second store over here um, again still firing but we have missiles coming in it doesn't help that the uh, store waters uh, sorry the Leviathan is, is on its side um, our biggest problem at the moment seems to be that a lot of our ships are, are launching missiles into the water. Let's see if anyone really severely damaged. Both walruses are okay. Seal subs are both okay. No one's particularly damaged. The Leviathan is mostly the worst damaged. And these missiles, they are making their way there, they're just not quite getting there in, t in time uh, without a, a propeller. Now, I could put a prop inside them, but then that'd be reducing the amount of warheads they'd have, or, or fuel, or some other potentially useful component. So, Ooh, torpedo, more torpedoes. The torpedoes are what's doing uh, a lot of the damage here. It's just they take a take time to come in as such to actually work. Hmm. I think I know what I've got now a plan I think for how to use the Leviathan a little bit better as a as a more solo ship, but we'll have a think about that off offline. Um, maybe make it more carrier based. Or maybe I need to make an, another one, which is even bigger. But maybe we'll, we'll test it with the, the, the Leviathan. Haven't um, used sub spawners yet. Not sub spawners. Um, well, it, I think they are still called a sub spawner when they spawn little small ships off. They're designed for drones and other type of, of weapons. Oh, looks like one of our ships is over here yeah it looks like he is having a, a launch at this uh, stalwart so okay this is this battle is almost over that stockade is on its side walrus is hmm, hopefully that might be a little close to be able to shoot at it uh, this stockade is just about done as well just waiting for more to hit it 
It's unfortunate about the Leviathan not uh, staying level, but uh, hey-ho. So obviously when it's either damage or when it was doing its turn. So we'll have a look at that again, as I say, separately. I don't know if you can have the hydrofoils on the inside. Seems to be a bit of a cheat as such. Uh, theory the hydrofoils have got to be where the water is. If they're not in water, then theoretically they wouldn't have any effect. But I don't think that's modelled as such. So let's see. Okay. Are we going to get that final? Come on, give us that final ending. Are you disintegrating yet? Are you disintegrating? I think he's disintegrating over there. That looks like uh, that's getting smaller. And it's not the missiles and torpedoes that are making it smaller. Yeah, that's, that one's disintegrating. Excellent. So it's just you left. Everything is now going to be targeting you. Stockade is done. Yep, that's the last of him. So, you, mister, are now on the chipping block. You is not going to last too long, methinks. There's an atomic gone. Excellent. Nice little. So, he's not going to have much offensive capability. You can see the uh, laser targeting everything. He's going to be uh, targeting him now with lasers. I say laser, that's for laser targeting for the missiles. Um, we have missiles. Oh, it looks like the Leviathan may have sorted himself out eventually. These missiles seem to be coming from there and now coming in quite nicely. So maybe it's righted itself and uh, the damage to the Leviathan has been repaired. Because now. He is under severe attack. Oops, some of these missiles missed. Oops. Uh, that was obviously, I need to have a look at his, his ranges. I think missile ranges. There's definitely uh, some work needed on those. What is the best missile ranges? How does it work? So. That could be a seal sub over there, attack coming in. Uh, sorry, a, a walrus that's coming in there. I'm not sure where my Leviathan is now. Um, we've got missile laser designators coming in from that one. That's a, that's a walrus. Um, see how far away is the Leviathan? 461. It should be firing. It won't be firing these long distance missiles. But should be firing his laser guided and other sorts of missiles. As we can see, there's a lot of missiles coming in this way, they're just not all hitting, but <laughs> yeah, this stockade is just about there. Okay, we'll take this battle as done. Final screenshot in the nice sunlight. Because we've got some nice big boom. Big booms. Yes. Except these missiles are just missing. They're just turning just a little too slowly. Some of these missiles only have one fin, so they don't turn that quick if it's if it's uh, slightly off target. Oh, look at all of those frags and booms! Oh, big booms! Massive, great boom! So 
So I think the next thing to target on the uh, Leviathan is something which is a massed missile barrage around the 450, 500 meter or less mark. Basically close range. Lots of missiles. It will come in um, and start attacking at that point. And the other missiles then are over target a different tar target. Well, we'll look at that. Yes, finally. Excellent. Okay. So we won that eventually. Um, we will take out of play the ones which are not damaged. And leave the other ones to sort themselves out. Okay, let's have a look at the map while they're just sorting themselves out. So, we have our Aquanauts now, I have taken over this next resource zone, uh, not resource zone, this, this next zone. Now the Raytheon fleet will take over this 54 and our next big battle will be the Aquanauts having to take over this 73 here. We'll then have this row. Um, we also have a strength 40 coming into this 73 so it's going to be another big double fleet plus their resource points. So this is going to be a big battle here. Um, we just have to make our way through it and steadily take them out. This 19 we'll mostly do separately and then there's a 58. So the Raytheon fleet, after it's done the 54, we'll, we'll see what's up into this slightly north and then go into this 58 here. But for the moment, thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Sorry it was a little slow. Um, if I can improve it, I will do. Um, please comment below what you think. Please like and subscribe if you can. Until that, until next time, have fun. <laughs>